guys so I'm back again with another video and this is actually a collab video with my girl XK loves makeup um, I absolutely love her makeup tutorials um, I just started I just subscribed to her YouTube channel I love her videos like she is awesome like I actually reached out to her uh, in July and asked her did she want to do a collab 4th of July inspired makeup look and she said yes and it turned out so awesome we also collabed with a few other girls and it it was a really great experience uh, i know that may sound corny but you know for a group of girls to get together and collab like that and just just inspire other girls different women out there it's just it's just a great feeling it just it's a great feeling that's all i can say but we collabed, we did a, we both did a rundown on the Naked One palette. And this is a girl's night, sexy, sultry, smoky eye. And this is my version of it. I hope, I hope I did pretty good. Uh, but uh, yeah, so enough rambling. Uh, go check out her channel. It's XK underscore loves underscore makeup X. I hope that I said that right, honey pie. Correct me if I'm wrong. But her name will be linked down below. Go check it out. And if you want to see how I came up with this beautiful look here, then just continue to watch. So let's just get started. Um, I'm going to be using, um, as you could, um, we're, we're told on the intro, that I'm doing a, a collab with XK Loves Makeup and we are using the Naked Palettes and I'm using uh, a, two colors from the basics and then my colors from my Naked One palette and I'm just going to use Virgin as my brow bone color. I already have a little bit on here already. I'm just going might as well just use the mirror that comes with it, right? right. Now I'm just patting this on my brow bone like so. And I always like to use, I always like to apply my tear duct color and my highlight first before I go on to the other 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 colors and I've already oh I forgot to oops, oops, oops forgot to let you know that I did prime my eyelids and I use the NYX eyeshadow base in natural I love this base it's awesome I usually uh, use it for my uh, concealer to conceal my brows but today I was like oh, I'm gonna use it for my base too it's so versatile so after I done that I'm gonna go in and find the brush that I used for my tear duct which is this pointe brush her and I'm gonna go in with sin which is right her right there and we're gonna put that in my tear duct I hope you guys could see. I'm still trying to get the hang of recording again. It's not easy, so please bear with me. Like that. Next, I'm going to go in with the transition, which will just help the other eyeshadows that will be on your lid and out of reach just blend in all together. And that's when I, that's where I'm going to be going in using the color Faint from the Naked Basics and also the color Naked from the Naked Palette. I'm 
and we're just going to fit it on the crease. And we're using windshield wiper motions, getting it all in there. And just to let you know, guys, practice makes perfect. Like I'm, I'm not perfect at all. Like I still mess up sometimes, and sometimes my hand and I coordination is still not the way I want it to be. But the only thing you need to do is just practice, practice, practice. And the good thing about it is makeup is an art. And it's however you want it to look. And how you express yourself. It does not have to be perfect. And it does not have to be precise or what everybody else wants it to look like. Or how everybody else feels like it should look it's it's just all in the mind and you just express it however you want to and just do whatever you want it's not perfect it's supposed to be crazy it's supposed to be dramatic and doesn't make sense that's just the beauty of it you could just do whatever you want and just express yourself in any way that you want to I had to clean up something over there okay so now that I finished with that I'm gonna be going in with my dark color which is what's this thing oh yeah creep from the naked palette and i'm going to be putting this on my outer v to give it some deep deep depth and dimension and it's all about just being very careful not not necessarily careful but just take your time you're not in no hurry um and since like i said i'm not perfect and i do make mistakes i always like to go in with the with the piece of tape so that way i could get the defined angle and the exact way shape how i want it to go I'm just placing that here and I hope you guys could see me because I'm using like two different mirrors right now and I'm just putting this on my outer V I'm just gonna keep packing on the color and I'm gonna make it as dark as light as whatever I want and I'm just going to blend it. And here I'm just going back in with my blending brush and the color Naked. And I'm just going to blend the this color out. Very softly. Not dragging it everywhere. I want it to stay right here within the crease. Not going too high above my brow bone. So I'm just kind of like staying right here not trying to drag the color out too much I want it to stay right here within my crease now I will be going in with my lid color which is this color here sidecar and I'll be putting that on the lid and I'm going to spray this with fix plus as well so we can um, make the color a little bit more vibrant but before I do that I just like to place it on first tapping it onto my lid going in once more I hope you guys can see me boy I need to really work on my angle I suck at this Work with me, please, guys. Just work with me. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do better. So, take my fix bus, and I'm just gonna do it over here, cause, ah, eh, my fix plus sucks right now. Look how much I have left. I seriously need to go and buy some more, and just go back in with sidecar and put it on my lid and see how the color is starting to stick out a little bit more. That's what we want. That's what we want. 
I hope you guys can see me. Oh, I'm going to be so pissed off if y'all don't see me in this room. Like that. So, now, to get... I wanted to add, like, a little bit more sparkle on it. Because I thought it was just too dull. There. I just took a flat concealer brush. And I went in with my with the color Melon. This is a pigment from MAC. And this is my absolute favorite pigment. Like, I... Oh, my gosh, you guys. I love this color. Like, this is the best color. I don't know if they still have it. But I love this color. And as you can tell, uh, I didn't say this in the beginning, but um, I did this side of my face first. And then, well, what I did was I did my eyes first. And then I applied my foundation, blush. Uh, um, you know what I'm trying to say. My bronzer. And, um... I'm just going to do the exact same method on this side because this has a lot of fallout and I didn't want to do my concealer and foundation and I'll have to fix that all over again. It was just too much work. So I just went ahead and just did the same thing on this eye and I'm just gently, gently, gently patting this onto my eye. Gently, very, very gently. Cause see, I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but this stuff is like flying everywhere. Now that that has been added, um, I'm going to go ahead and deepen, continue to deepen up my outer V area. And I'm going to use Crave from the Naked Basics palette. My outer V, like so. Like so. And, gent and gently patting on the black very gently not going this line right here I'm not going above that I want to stay right here in the in the in middle area not going too too far I don't want to do too much and going back in with my blending brush and it uh, it has the same product on it the naked color and just gently and very lightly just blending and once again it, it's just a lot of blending that's basically all with smoky eyes you have to do a lot of blending but it, okay so now that that blending is done um, I'm just gonna go back in with this tapered brush here I really like this brush this came out of the naked three palette I'm going to go back in with Creep and I'm going to put that on my lower lash line, underneath my lower lash line. I'm just going to do it like this, guys. Putting it all together. Okay. And then I'm going to go in with this brush that came out of the Naked One palette. And I'm just going to take, oh, where is it? Ugh. I'm going to take side car that I used on my lid. I'm just going to put that in the middle of the lower lash line. So moving on to the next um, thing, thingamajigger, <laughs> is I'm going to use this gel liner from L'Oreal. I don't know if you can see it. Ah! There you go. I don't know if you can see that or is it focusing or not, but this is in Black is Black. It's the L'Oreal 24-hour infallible gel liner, and I can I usually start in the middle. And don't be scared, guys. Like, just go right into it. Like, just... If you make, if you mess up, you just mess up. That's just a part of learning. I'm just going to keep going. And I'm probably going to cut the camera off here because I think this is going to take a while. 
so I will see you guys when I finish doing my wing liner. So I'll be using two mascaras. Um, yes, I did do my wing liner. I was just not going to have that. Like, <laughs> I've been doing makeup for a while now and I still can't achieve to just... Can't do it. So I'm going to be using two mascaras. This is the Grand Grandimoso Lashes Incredible Volume Mascara from Milani, which I love. And then whatever is left of my Maybelline The Falsies Volume Express. Big eyes. <laughs> and it's the upper and lower. So I'm just going to use that first. And I have already told my lashes off camera. Apply it like so. See how big this this thing is? Like, this thing is huge. I love it. I like big lashes, big mascara, volume. Can you let me know in the comments down below what mascaras that you like to use to give your eyelashes a lot of volume and length because I'm in the market for a new mascara very soon um, and well I, I do use the um, uh, Too Faced Better Than Sex and it gives me a lot of um, volume but I need a mascara I need a mascara that will give me a lot of length comment below Hey guys, so that was the completed look. Um, I did do the right side of my face and for the face products that I used, um, I wanted to let you guys know before I forget, for found, not for foundation, for primer, because I want to start off from everything, for primer I used my favorite L'Oreal uh, Studio Secrets anti redness Primer. I used this as a primer. I used uh, my new favorite CoverGirl True Blend Liquid Makeup Foundation in Caramel Beige. And I have never been a CoverGirl fan, uh, but since I've been trying these uh, these new foundations, because this is actually a new shade. They, I don't know how new this is. This is probably a couple of months new, but um, I'm liking it so far. And it is, it's my exact color. To be honest and I love it um, next product I use for setting powder is the Revlon nearly naked pressed powder in medium I use that to set my entire face concealer as well speaking of concealers I use my Garnier anti dark circle roller for blush and bronzer I used well for bronzer I use my NARS 3-in-1 Trio palette. Um, I, don't, I think this is discontinued. Uh, I actually have not seen it in Sephora, so I don't think they make this anymore. But it was a Trio palette with the Bronzer in Orgasm. Not Orgasm. I do apologize. Laguna. This is the Bronzer in Goon Laguna. And then the blush is actually Orgasm. And then the highlighter, which uh, which I used, I, I used two highlighters, uh, what is, is in Albatross. And I love this palette. Um, as you can see, it's pan, it's nearly gone. Um, I'm hoping that I could find this on Amazon or eBay somewhere. Or if you guys know where I could get this, please comment below. Uh, I use that highlighter as well. And then I also use another one. Uh, which is uh, the Nika K Sheer and Glow Bronzer that I showed you guys in my previous video, which is the new Beauty Guru tag. And it's in Cafe. This is Cafe, and this is 24 karat gold. And I use this one and then the NARS Albatross highlighter as well. For blush, I used my NYC Color Wheel Mosaic Face Powder. Uh, and this is in Pink Cheek Glow, 723A. 
that's what I used on my face. And for lips, because I know you guys may ask, for lips, I used a combination lips, two combination lipsticks and a lip gloss. Uh, I used the Maybelline, this is from their Bare or Nude line. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. I think this is their Nude line. This is in Bare All 910. And this is a very, very pale color. So I could not use that by itself. So I went ahead and applied that first. And then I applied my Milani Nude Cream 26 lipstick on top, which is gorgeous. And then on top of that, to set it and get me this pretty shine, is this Revlon Lip Gloss in Bejeweled. And I really like this color. It's like a pale pink. So those are the products that I used on my face. This is my version of a girl's night out smoky eye with a nice nude pink lip. And uh, please go and check out my girl's channel. It's, uh, I had to correct myself, it's XK underscore loves underscore makeup X. That is her name. So please go check out her channel. I'll have her name below. Uh, and let me know in the comments below if you want to see any other smoky eye videos any natural neutral looks let me know below what you would like to see and like this video don't forget to go check out my girl's channel uh we both did a collab so go check it out and i'll talk to you guys in another video bye